lately and um, I just felt like doing uh, doing a bit of a fairy and um, I bought myself a, a book by Susie Blue um, with my Amazon voucher that Gina Ahrens gave me for my birthday and I just thought oh, I'll give one of these things a go I mean I'm not a huge um, you know tattered sort of look person which is very very much the hallmark, hallmark of Susie's work but um, I liked the pose and uh, I just thought well I'll give it a go. I was feeling in the mood to do a sad fairy. So I've done her eyes um, a little bit different to what I normally do. And she does look a little bit sad, I'm thinking. And um, of course, just a little bit whimsy. And um, sometimes you just feel like that and you've got to get it out on paper and I mean, sometimes with these pages I'll sit there and write on the page first and then I'll draw away, but this time I felt the need to paint. <laughs> and I've been doing a bit of painting lately, you'll see some um, videos coming out and um, I'm posting a bit again on Facebook and uh, <laughs> I'm getting back into it, I guess, and having a bit of fun while I'm at it. Um, faces always go through this ugly stage and um, for me it's usually pretty early on and I just um, like to put the shadows in and the highlights and the lowlights of the face and this is a small face so much smaller brushes and much less paint than normal um, I must admit I like working oh excuse my yawn <laughs> it's late at night um, I do like working in the very large uh, Delusions journal, uh, but this is the small one which is my current Mash It Up journal because I've had the little um, Delusions journal for quite some time and just wasn't using it, so now I am and having lots of fun while I'm doing it and I'm working, gradually working my way through the pages actually, I'm enjoying it and I find that they're different all the time. Um, the page before this particular one I've prepared with watercolour ground, Daniel Smith watercolour ground. So I tend to do some watercolour on that page um, because the Delusions paper does not like water based media at all. Um, so one of the things that Susie Blue does is she does a lot of her eyes in pencil in much softer kind of tones and they look you know a little bit more rustic uh, I've got a little bit more of my style in here and um, just the way I like to do things but in the small um, version it looks quite cute I think boy I am yawning a lot tonight everybody else in my family's gone to bed see <laughs> so it's, um, so I'm actually trying to talk to be a little bit quiet um, but I think her eyes are coming along and looking really cute and I didn't make the effort to do much of a nose because when, when you get smaller when your faces get smaller you don't have to spend as much time on the detail and so you just have to still maintain the proportions but um, yeah you can make your features simplified more simplified so um, now I'm just getting uh, some Prisma pencils and just adding a few extra details in like some rosy cheeks and blending away some of the skin tones and just yeah just getting some of those basic skin tones down so that they don't look too full on. I've just used a bit of pink around her eyes and I've kept her mouth very small because that's what I would like to do with a little girl like this keep her and she looks a bit sad a bit contemplative a bit sad so now I'm this particular colour purple is something that I love to do a lot of my Jane Davenport sketches with as you can tell it's getting down and I've got myself a a pretty swisho um, sharpener now which is why it looks long 
rather than the Prisma sharpener which I find just doesn't last. So it's interesting to see what I'm going to do. I'm not minding that I'm smudging the pencil there. It just provides additional texture. Now I'm using a golden um, quinacridone nickel azo gold which has got to be one of my favourite um, one of my most favourite colours. I often use it to add warmth to my skin tones all together um, and the canvas that I'm doing together of two girls has a lot of this in it to give them really warm toned skin which is what I wanted. Um, and with the fluid acrylics you can really get some nice tones and lights and darks without having to use lots of different colours. So now I'm going to add in some burnt umber light um, again in the golden fluid acrylics and you can see that they're translucent so the fluid acrylics are able to layer on top of one another and complement each other and, and so the nickel as a gold is actually providing a lot of warmth here and um, you know we keep working on that but I'm quite happy with the hair the way it stands right now. So what I've done here now is I'm just looking for a book with some old books text and I'm even looking for a book that's got some scribble and writing on top of it and I did find one of those. So I'm wanting to add some texture to the big voluminous skirt and you can see me just um, starting to lay and play with a few pieces and just get them arranged properly. I'm just going to zoom this out in a second, there we go. And you can see the way that I've um, arranged them there and that I'm just going to apply them with some matte medium and that's going to help me with the shape of the dress which I like because I like it, the dresses to be quite flowy. And she looks like, this lovely young lady looks like she's sort of sitting on her side. So we're sealing that all in. And then I'm going to get some quinacridone magenta in the goldens. So again, a fluid acrylic. Um, before I do that though, I'm going, I've got some little stamps and I just want to add some stamp patterns. And because I'm using fluid acrylics, they're translucent, so you'll be able to see all of this through the ink. And I'm looking for a couple of different patterns to do and to add some texture and lightness. I'm doing that on the wings at the moment because I want to paint over them, but I want to see a little bit of them. So you'll see the quinacridone magenta there just about to come out. Here we go, one of my most favourite colours. Really drawn to the richness of it. And you see how translucent it is, so you really do get to see what's underneath. And this is good for now when we're actually working. I'm just colouring in the, you know, the, the big skirt and making sure that we pay attention to the details um, and make sure that we don't like paint over the arms and the hands um, but essentially now I'm just blocking colour in and I'm going to do something else different with it and layer over it again I had this goal to um, use some reds and browns as well on this page so we'll see how I blend all those in together and you can still see the stamps underneath which looks great but still it looks a little bit blotchy so now's the time I'm going to pull out some pyrrole red in the golden fluid acrylics um, some burnt umber light in the fluid acrylics and I'm also going to pull out some Delusions pink bubblegum paint and uh, just like Claudia Rossi's paints they're starting to go uh, clumpy that pink is starting to go clumpy I however will put up with it <laughs> because trying to post post you know faulty product back so I just think it's a faulty batch 
none of my other stuff's going like that. And I like how some of the vestiges of the magenta has made their way into the wings, where I'm just using that buttercream in Americana that I usually use on my faces, but I wanted to use it on the wings here. And I think it just looks really cute. So you didn't see how I did that background because I thought I'd turn my camera on and I didn't. So I basically used a round um, applicator, foam applicator, a Tim Holtz round foam applicator. And I did that in uh, the bubblegum pink first, then the pyrrole red and then the chocolate, the burnt umber. And I also then went over the skirt a little bit more. Um, and got that working better and I wonder if we'll see that here where I go over it in bubblegum now I'm just adding low lights into the hair I felt like it needed more depth yeah so her hair looks very flowing and get a sense that it's just falling away from her I love that. I love these golden fluid acrylics and translucents for um, you know adding a tonal dimension into hair. The eyes and lows. Now I've just got a white Prismacolor pencil, and I'm just um, sketching in some little flowers to look like faint print on the skirts of the dress. Very cute. Just some additional detail now, I'm just blending some edges with the white pencil as well. And filling any um, borders that needed filling in and just cleaning up the edges a little bit. Yeah, so now I'm just dobbing a little bit left over of the watered down pyro red and now I'm going to blotch it because I wanted those wings to look quite blotchy, which I think I've achieved. And now I'm getting the black and I'm just doing those final outlines and the grey. And now I'm just adding some, a script with it, my favourite script stamp, which is the dark room door one. And I'm not using a block because I just want to use the edge of it so that I don't go over the wings or the hair or the face. So just spreading that around the wing, adding some light there. So it just looks a little bit illuminated around the edge of the wing. And then I have to dry it off a little bit because it, the, it's quite wet. Now I'm just sealing in the white top with white paint. So all the pencil and the graphite is now getting sealed in. And that's the final bit of the page. I actually have to paint to seal the page. And now um, just adding those final little details in with a fine liner and a darker pencil, dark grey pencil and blending it in with the what is it? It's a 20% French grey one of my favourite colours in um, blending skin tones and now I'm just going to write some of my thoughts about the events that have happened to me in my life over the last couple of days and needless to say again I've been retrenched and uh, out of work at the moment <laughs> so looking for another job uh, so using my art as therapy <laughs> for me at the moment um, and just wanted to try that off and sort some of those edges out and now I'm just writing some of my thoughts and I think this is a really great way to get some of those feelings out onto the page um, we don't always have to verbalize them we can write them down and I'm looking back at that page now and I can't understand what I've written <laughs> see if you can all right then ciao for now have a wonderful time learn something new today it keeps you young <laughs>